Okay, I will do the NES games, except the ones you won't see here, like the extra copy of Punch Out. There was Deja Vu and another one of my brothers that come through, I think. Yeah, two of them. Now those dupes could probably be sold, sold, put the written on, because when I lived at a place there, I, met, I had my have labeled, so I knew they were mine. So anyway, there's no particular order, but we got Excite Bite. When I say we, I mean me and Jimmy. They're really mine, but I share. He shares too. I'll have his uh, separate video later because he's got them all mixed up in the drawer here. Um. I'll do that with Xbox One and whatever. Excite Bite. You don't see Mega Man because Mega Man is almost as much as a new one, but I'm going to get them because I used to have them. I love Mega Man. So. And Castlevanias. And Metroid. And Kid Icarus. So, you know, I have it on Virtual Console and the Wii. You can't play it. I still love it. It's a very nice collectible game. Metal Gear. And some of the other black labels. I didn't have it, I'd like to get something more original. There's Manic Mansion. Metal Gear. And this is the system I would take to a desert island if I can only have one. It would be my nest. That's the most important system to me. Although 2600 would be awful hard to pick between the two. But definitely the nest. Carnov. Is it Carnov? Kids used to call it Carnov. Marvel Madness. I had a fumigated cartridge that came from a cellar stunk with cigarettes. <laughs> Pretty bad. You want to fumigate something? Just put a little tiny bit of something that smells nice on it. And then put it in here open window for a while it's not raining. It gets rid of that smell right away. Vanilla is good too. It masks anything. Uh, the Adventure of Link. I love Zelda games. That one, I don't know. I like it. It's hard though. I never got too far on it. But I'm a Zelda collector and Mario collector. Well, it's a pricey thing to collect. Spy Hunter. I know I haven't tried any of the ones for the upscaled systems of PS2, the version, but the original is number one, right? Has the best music on it, too. 3D World Runner. I don't know if you're supposed to play this with special glasses or not, but I like it. Like, uh, 3D. Could probably order some off eBay so they can start somewhere and see what it's like. I don't know, I never remember playing it with any, but baseball. I don't have the pad, so we're just going to show this. Duck Hunt and Mario, although I don't play Duck Hunt no more because a lot of the modern TVs don't like the light gun. I have one CRT TV, that's it. So They go up, they'll have to plug into one of those things with the coax on the back. So. They're heavy for women. <laughs> You know, the flat, fat TVs, not the flat TVs. <laughs> Fester's Quest. This is the E.T. of the Ness, I think. Yoshi. It's a puzzle game. It's not the worst. That's good. Track and Field 2. Kung Fu. Although the old Kung Fu I had, I might have put Zelda inside of it. So I don't really know. It may have Kung Fu in it. It might not. <laughs> Better the copies. I don't know. I'll have to put it in my machine one day and see what went on with that. And it takes this punch on. I have this one. I don't have the one with the Mr. Dream on it or the replace light. For whatever reason, Nintendo got mad at him for different reasons and didn't want to deal with them. Or I don't know what happened. Deja vu. So on the shadow date, point and click adventure. Go in a room. Got to figure out how to get out of it. This and that. I think those hidden, those door games you get now on apps. It's fun. A lot of fun. It's good for your brain. Helps you get out of a room and figure out how to do it. It's a good puzzling game. That's Commando. Another game some of us that I love was Gunsmoke. I hope to come across that someday. Bionic Commando is awesome. I hope to get that too. Capcom. Very good Capcom classic right there. Here's Konami. As opposed to how you clean your room on Konami. Konami. <laughs> Double Dribble. That was one of the best basketball games ever. I just said earlier, I don't care for sports games, but the NES games weren't too bad. Some of them, very little ones that I care for. And that baseball is number one. So, Donkey Kong Classics. Well, Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr. on that one. That's a good compilation game, I guess. Get two and one for that. 
Shadow Gate was like that deja vu game, but I love it. I should see if they have it on the Game Boy, too. And they upscaled it, and they made it for the N64. And I don't have that for my N64, but I'll have to look for it. That one needs to be washed. It's got some gunk on it. Like I said, I'm going to try those one-up cleaners and get some of them someday. They're expensive, but for us who collect these things and like our older games still to recapture our childhood when we're in our 40s, it would be beneficial. Russian Attack was good. I used to play that on an arcade machine. A lot of good shooter game. Here's Rygar. That's a very good game. They made it for the Xbox a long time ago, a version of it. They were supposed to make it for the Wii, too. I don't know what they came out, but I love this game. Yeah, it actually has a Solomon's Key. It's by Tecmo. NES Ninja Turtles. I like the arcade one, too. I had that on my uh, Xbox hard drive. Xbox 360 from the Miss Pac Man. That's the only two DLC games I got for that. I don't believe I ever got any DLCs for the PS3, but. I went crazy with the uh, virtual console and got quite a few things on there. Before I got another NES, so. Well, there's nothing like playing an NES game on an NES, but the Wii Virtual Console was pretty good. I got some uh, indie games too that weren't. Whatever. <laughs> I just like the DLC that was on that, put that way. Top Gun. When it came to the. The Xbox <laughs> for 60, I went right after Arcade Classics instead of modern DLC. I don't know about me. I worry. <laughs> this one's got some kind of gunk on it. This is regular track and field, by the way. This tap gun game, I never understood it as part of a collector. I got it because we had it, but I never understood it. It's like for collector reasons. What was the point? You never got far on it, did you? Nobody did. Okay, so this one Jimmy's got for, I tried it, I, he, I watched him try the claw better. It was like Ace Combat or something, I don't know what it was, it's for um, Xboxes. Legend of Zelda. I don't play those bad games with too many shooters. Well, I do with Tomboy, but not a lot of them. But that's my, this right here, right, I would say, this was my all-time favorite game of all time ever made. It's the one I'm the best at. And people used to come and watch me clear it and win it and everything where we lived so that was pretty cool other kids like watching me play it i should say dr mario x uh, dr mario i mean that's his rx like for prescriptions should they have been encouraging us to play with pills back in them days <laughs> really Shit, I'm glad I did because now I have to fill boxes because I'm so old can't remember to take them. Trying to mess up that spell on these or try to keep them nice. So my brother gave me some to keep. I take good care of them and damage some stuff on them. <laughs> That's like my our oldest cat years ago when we moved somewhere else. He got our game for the three year old was called Hell stuck on him with a ferret stuff it was on the seat and he had, and he had to get it off and he was fine but the disc wasn't so i gotta find another copy of that someday that was another weird point and click adventure type thing That's, those were three yo had some really weird games so i like it's a weird console like weird things <laughs> i mean sega saturn and dreamcast are considered oddballs but not like the 3d oh that's an oddball oddball game system one of the weird games Super Mario 3. All I got for it is Gex that came with it. Two demo discs and that Family Feud which needs to be replaced because it's in bad shape. Slalom. We played that I don't know how many times. We didn't realize that both the two player though you'd have to daisy chain it on the other one. I mean that would suck if your other, you were losing and you hated it. You could just unplug your friend and they'd lose with you. Super Mario 2, we never had two players for that anyway, I don't know why. I can figure that part of it out. <laughs> Star Tropics and, uh, Soda's Revenge, Star Tropics 2. I'd like to see, like, Nintendo or somebody try and remake some of these up for the Switch or 
whatever they got out nowadays or something because I don't know these guys, these guys got left in the dark they were really good they were similar to Zelda good games those type what is the difference between adventure and RPGs okay RPGs are like Final Fantasy like Dragon Warrior here which was my first RPG I ever played and loved it I never got the uh, Final Fantasies for the Nintendo I should go back and try and get them I don't know if they had the uh, summon things that helped you, like the Mist Dragon, like on 2. My 2 needs to be replaced, it's got something that jiggles in it, it works. Um, when it wants to, <laughs> I guess you could say. Uh, this is burger time. What fat chick wouldn't like that? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> this one in here, I was pissed off a couple weeks ago. He's got play this, this was good. This was Cyber Wars Baseball, it was fun though. It wasn't just regular baseballs, you could fight each other too in between, like over a base and your robots, your cyborgs with like little guns or punch this and that. They were fun. I'll admit Nintendo had some pretty good baseball games. I think they had one we used to like, it had little kids on it. It was called Bad News Baseball, is that what it was? I, I think. Ignore me for doing this because I know i got to clean my floor later and I just sweep it up later. Oh boy. So how many do I got all together? One. I didn't count my uh the ten shy twenty six hundred ones today. Yeah, I need to get another binder. You know, I can get some I'm gonna make some charts with my laser printer and computer. Maybe someday I can just put them in a laminated sheet and then I'll know what I have. I had one, an app called Video Game Collectors. Maybe I still got it somewhere and I can still log into it, but... Yeah, there's like one... Count by twos, Missy. Like, you do trains, it's easier. The car is two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen... 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 35 all together, and then the 3 makes 38 duplicates, so, so 38 all together are those. Say to me, if you break one of them, oh god damn! Jimmy likes tank games. I ought to get him Firepower 2000, but just consider it one of those hidden gems, and it's going to cost in for cartridge. I had a, quite a few SNES ones and different ones I didn't have that I'd rent and I'd love, so those are the ones I'm after. Like, So I'm not buying lots no more because I'm going to get duplicates, obviously. So now I'm buying on Singularity off a of seller. And eBay named Luke Lucky Games or Lucky or different sellers. There's all different ones that sell. Like I don't have my Ocarina of Time. I don't have my Majora's Mask. I gotta do that. Worse, I gotta find that sampler disc my brother had with his that I want. And I thought it was so cool. They upscaled them a little bit for the GameCube. I had the Master's Quest, different ones. So we'll get them as we can. It takes years. This is like pencil collecting. I think I'm done with my, my craft stuff, that's obvious. Except for once in a while when I want beads or something. I still got those ladies that want me to give them a class. Now they want to just go down and do arts and crafts, whatever ones we want to do, and do it that way. But, I mean, I could teach people how to make those stars. That's no problem. Pony beads are cheap. You can get them at the Dollar Tree. You can just sort them in those little things. But when I buy beads, there's a lot of them. I like them pre-sorted in them little squares. <laughs> It's easier for me to handle. So, so yeah. All these are not in order. I don't ABC order my games like I used to. I should. They are like that nut thing now. So. When I get to the Sega Genesis and the, X and the N64, which I may have to stop because we got to go to a doctor's appointment at 3.30. Our driver's coming in like about 15, like a half hour actually. So I gotta, this is the last until I get out of Because I gotta do the Sega Genesis with some loose carts and some tight ones that are in there in the cases. I like to try and buy them in the case because that was what was nice about the Sega Genesis. They give you a nice 
hard plastic case with their stuff. These guys gave me cardboard boxes, and that's why some of them don't have them anymore, because they just, they don't last long. This one's a little loose, but it still works. You just have to rearrange it. I apologize, my name's on it. Uh, it's because, like I said, I lived at like a halfway house years ago when I tried to live on my own, and it didn't work out, so I went back home for a while, and I'm on my own and whatever. But when I was living there, they had uh, Nintendos, and uh, I just wanted to make sure my name was on mine. So this was both of ours. My mom got it one year for us. It's, can you see it? It doesn't want to cooperate. I think because it's so glossy. But uh, it's Super Ghouls and Ghosts Capcom. This is considered one of the best ones for the Nintendo. And if you go on eBay, you're going to pay a lot just for the cartridge alone. So, I bought a have it. I used to rent this. I bought it from a rental. Sold it and rebought it. <laughs> My mom says, if you're going to sell stuff, sell it. Don't keep rebuying. I, I don't know. I'm still living in the barter system, kind of. Way I used to do things. Chemco, and this is Lagoon. This is a very similar Zelda adventure type. Not RPG, it's adventure. But the Super Nintendo had a lot of good RPGs and adventure games. That's what they were known for. Some guy action games, stuff like that. Super Punch Out, I love Punch Outs. They have such wacky characters, you gotta love them. I think this one has a clown on it. He's a very scary looking clown, but you get to punch him, so that's the main thing. Here's Star Fox. Never owned a Star Fox, but liked them and rented them continuously. Slippy the Frog. I bet you Jimmy would like that. <laughs> I didn't know what the idea of the FX chip was. I don't understand what it was. I don't know what it meant. What it did. Uh, this honestly was my brother's. I just borrowed it for a while. Or... We have it. It's okay for a wrestling game. You see it? The camera doesn't like the glossy stuff. There we go. That's, it says Super WrestleMania. Everything was Super. They had another one. It's R-Type. Did you ever play the game Life Force for the NES? That's one I want to get. So I run it that a lot, too. Where you're, like, shooting inside a weird galaxy, like, look like human body parts or something. R-Type was good. They were, like, launch games. A couple of these were. I missed my Mario paint. That was, like, drawing and coloring up my alley, but... I want to get it so I can get the mouse in the pad with it when I find it. Like I had it. I wanted that so bad one year for Christmas. My, I kept driving my mom nuts with the Sears catalog. I think I was like at my 18, 19 year old. Or even 17 or 16 maybe when that come out. <laughs> kind of old to be driving a parent. Nuts to get something, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> the Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. I had a little job back then, so I would save money and buy a lot of these. I don't remember where it is, but I don't have it no more. But I, I, I had, did it, did, was it Funko? They were a game you used to mail order. Was that their name? And there was something you would mail order. It used to be in Game Pro magazines. I don't remember which ones I got. But I remember ordering, and I had to have Stinger. It's one of my favorites for the NES. And a Nintendo, maybe it was for the Super Nintendo, the original Nintendo, but it was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the arcade game. So, you know I love Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I just don't have any of the movies. They're cartoons that I got all over the place, different little ones. <laughs> I had Bebop, but he's he's finally back up. That's right. Is it Rex Daddy? The one, the, uh, not the Rhino, the Warthog. I don't remember. One of them. Well, anyway, here's Animaniacs. This is okay. It's a platformer. Most cartoon games were. I had Wizard of Oz. I don't know if I could get it. I bought it from a video store. I didn't care for it. I love this. I got this one here for Christmas. I had to have it. I had to rebuy. Anything Ren and Stimpy. You know me, right? I actually have a plush Ren. I don't know. Or, excuse me, Stimpy. I don't know where Ren. I think I threw Ren out because his eyes got. Um. You know how plushies the eyes will wear off, the paint will wear off, and it just looked weird. I didn't want it no more. But I got those little plastic ones from the Dollar Tree. I'm happy. There they are. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. This is Ren and Stimpy Vidiots. That's fun. It's a pretty graphic. Here's some things in there. So, what was this rated? 
They obviously didn't have the rating system out yet. I would say they'd have to rate this one by today's things, by teen. There's some kind of gross things on it, like the teeth. The inside of the guy's mouth with the teeth and all the roots and everything. And ugh. But that was right in Stimpy uh, humor. It was kind of gross humor, I guess you'd call it. Um, I'm dusting them off as I'm picking them up. <laughs> I should get a better system. Like, we're gonna get that couple of those bookcases. I can give Jimmy that one for his. He'll do something. I gotta get a new big container, like that gray one I got in the other room when I got all my art stuff in it, to put my consoles in. Unless I can figure a way to put them in that linen closet, which I don't want to do because I got that all straightened out. Then there's that thing that I won't get rid of because it's an antique and it's from the Victorian age. It belonged to my great grandma. That I use for my gaming stand for my old TVs and systems when I'm playing them. It's a commode. <laughs> it's not the shitter, it's the thing they kept the shitter in. The cabinet. I think it's Victorian era. I wouldn't doubt it. What was that, 1920 ish? It's it's been around that long. <laughs> Just that the the drawer dirt came off in the back part. It could be screwed back down and we would have kept it, but then the TV won't fit on it or anything. Oh well. It's got a little drawer. I gotta dust the drawer out. So anyway, you got this. Super Mario All-Stars. Now I know a lot of people had it in Super Mario World, which you're about to see, on the same disc. Did I share Zelda already? Did my fucking ass forget Zelda? Here goes a miniature heart attack. There it is. Yeah, I showed it. Link to the past. I like I love that version of Zelda. That's good. Had like a dark world and a light world on it. I think that was the one with the first time the Skull Kid show up. I love the Skull Kid. I gotta get Ocarina of Time because of that reason. Um, you know me, I think Skull. But it had uh, Super Mario the original, Lost Worlds 2 and 3. Unlike in this game, you could save your progress on these worlds and everything. And Mario had the Tanuki suit. If you look back a couple years ago, people were having a fit. Peta, mostly. Because he had this Tanuki suit on. It's a video game. It's not meant to be real. It's supposed to be cute. Fun, you know? I don't know what a Tanuki is. A raccoon dog or something? Or some kind of like a weird weasel type of animal that lives in Asia somewhere. I don't know if it's a real dog or part raccoon or weasel. I don't know what it is. But they were having fits over Mario wearing that suit. And here's Super Mario World, first time you get met Yoshi, I think. I wish I had part two or had Baby Mario and Little Yoshi. But that will come someday. I'll collect as long as I'm still alive. I know how many DKAs I'll have in my future, but... My brother's friend gave me this or traded me this or something. So, like I said, it worked sporadically at once, too. But this was my first introduction to Final Fantasy. I didn't get three, I should have. I got a couple on the uh, PlayStation 1, which are the black labels. I don't know what the big deal is. Everybody says the black labels are best because they were the original print. I don't fucking understand it. They, they work. That's all that matters. And I like them. I don't have a massive collection like some people do. Same with my artwork. Because I like to actually use what I have, not just for display. Because my mother says, how, like with the music, how the hell are you going to use all that in a lifetime? Are you going to use it? You can't put them on your ass. You gotta like clothes in between. That can go. <laughs> that would be very indecent. I don't have F Zero for this. I thought I did. I liked F Zero. I guess I got it for the N64. The N64 will deal with that when we get home in that psycho because there's a lot of shit there that I don't have time to do now. So I gotta brush my hair and then wake Jimmy up, which is one of the hardest jobs in the house. Not brush my hair, waking Jimmy up. <laughs> I love him. He hates him that woke up, but he's got to go to his appointment, so. And that's Final Fantasy 2. This is Pac-Man 2. New Adventures. Like I said, I love everything Pac-Man. I'm um, after a little tabletop collectible. I used to have it as a kid. It had like a lineage arcade thing on it. And I'm looking for the Donkey Kong and, of course, the Miss Pac-Man one. That's it. I don't look Pac-Man, but I had a Donkey Kong one, too, so. I tried to capture some of the ones I had when I was a kid. And, like, I had Masters of the Universe collections and Star Wars. I wasn't much on dolls. They tried that route. It didn't It didn't work. 
We tried it. I hated dolls. I chewed them up. I used Barbie for a teething ring. That's how much I hated her. <laughs> I can't begin to tell you what I did with this teddy bear once. Maybe one of these days. It's kind of demented. Let's just put it that put it this way. He's in pieces. And he he I put him in a banister of an old apartment duplex house we lived in, which has since been torn down on his rick. So wherever the the pieces of that went, that's where the teddy bear is. <laughs> in pieces. <laughs> what the hell is this now in 